Hey, how's everyone doing today? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a key concept in Linux file system, the superblock. By the end of the video, you'll have a clear understanding of what a superblock is, the importance of it in the Linux file system, and how it works. So let's dive right in. All right. So in Linux, a superblock is a crucial metadata structure within a file system that, short, that stores essential information about the file system itself. It acts as a reference point for the operating system to understand the organization and management of the file system. So let me explain a little bit more. So in Linux, a file system organizes and stores data on your storage devices like hard drives and SSDs. One of the essential components of a Linux file system is a superblock. The superblock is a metadata structure that stores crucial information about the file system, such as the size, block size, and the number of free blocks available. It acts as a reference point for the operating system to understand the file system's organization and manage it efficiently. All right, so in this example, um, let's take an ext4 file system as an example. In the ext4, the super block is located at the beginning of the file system, right after the boot sector. It contains information such as the total number of inodes, the number of blocks, and the file system's uh, creation time. Now you might be wondering why Superblock is so important. Well, every time you mount, a file, you mount a file system in Linux, the operating system reads a Superblock to gather all the necessary information about the file system. Without the Superblock, the operating system wouldn't be able to interpret and manage the file system correctly. So there's a couple commands we're going to be running. Um, so one of the first ones would be the dump will be 2FS. And then we're going to render under dev. And then it'll be, I think, mapper. And then VG. And it'll be under ext super block demo. So when we run this command, really quick, we're going to... I forgot to put E2. And then I got to put rep slash I. And then we're going to be looking for super block as you can see here these are all the backup super blocks so this is your primary super block which is at the beginning which is at zero starts at zero and then the next one is from 32 uh 3279 to 3277 this is the location so this is the blocks that it take uh, that uh, stores the data so as you can see we have multiple backups of the super block and this is important because if you do let's say get um you know, like one of them gets corrupted, you can usually do, use a uh, sudo fs check. I'm just showing you because I'm already sudo, but just so, you know when you're doing it normally. So 768, and then we can do uh, dev sda and then one. As you can see here, that's the first backup, right? That's the second backup. So if this one doesn't work, you check here, you check here. This essentially will try to help you recover your uh, your file system. All right, um, and then we're going to also look at the command here. We're going to look at it more detail. As you can see here, it's huge because these are all the blocks. And if we see here, it gives you more information. It says file system volume name. I don't have a name assigned. Last mounted on. I never mounted it. I just created it. There's a file system um, UUID. So this is a unique identifier for it. Um, and then we have here, we'll check here, it says the file system is clean, um, continue, um, file system OS type is Linux, inode counts, this is how many inodes we have, these are how many blocks we have, uh, these are the reserve blocks, so this is essential, so pretty much if your uh, file system gets full, uh, the root uh, and critical system um, programs can still run in the background, um, and the reason why this is important because this serves as a buffer so that way root can log in and be able to, I guess, delete unnecessary stuff. But this is really important. Uh, and it reduces fragmentation because it has a continuous uh, line of blocks. And then we have free blocks right here. Just how many blocks are free at the moment. Free inodes, as you can see, nothing's been used. These are the block sizes. Um, it gives you a lot more information. When it was created, it was created today. Um, so it gives you a lot more info here, which is pretty cool. And if it's, uh, you have journaling information too. So that's another video, but um, it's really interesting. Um, and like I said, these are all the blocks because I only have, I think I did 10 gigs. So I got 10 gigs worth of uh, blocks. Of so that pretty much wraps it up. Like I said, our explanation of the super block in Linux. Uh, so in summary, 
The superblock is a vital um, metadata structure that stores essential information about a file system. It acts as a reference point for the operating system to understand and manage the file system effectively. So the next time you're working with a Linux file system, remember the crucial role of the superblock. 